tonight, the first votes of Decision 2024. I think we're going to still have a exceptional turnout. It's important to get out. So I will not snow down to get here. Bitter cold outside. Below zero temperatures. And a bitter battle between Republicans. If you're sick as a dog, you say, darling, I've got to Do your part for this country here in Iowa tonight. I'm running on your issues and your family's issues. Today is the day we make history. Our live coverage of the Iowa caucuses starts now. Breaking news tonight, NBC News projects Donald Trump is the winner of the Iowa caucuses. The former president speaking tonight as the results roll in. We want to thank the great people of Iowa. Thank you. We love you all. The next question is, who will take second place? And here's the thing. Those results are still being calculated at this hour. Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis are seen as the prime candidates for the silver medal. Our NBC10 political reporter Matt Pritchard joining us live at the DeSantis watch party where people are eagerly watching as those results continue to come in. That's right, Glenn Priscilla. Obviously, that announcement of Donald Trump as the winner of the Iowa caucus happened really just minutes after everyone had filed in to their different caucus precincts. Now the question is, as you mentioned, who's going to win second place? Take a look here. This is the scene at the DeSantis watch party. Everyone is starting to file around that stage to hear from the Florida governor. If he comes out, we'll give you a little glimpse of it. But for now, let's take a look at what it was like inside the precincts. An expected outcome. Donald Trump. 29 at precincts across Iowa. Former President Donald Trump emerging victorious in the Hawkeye stage, topping his closest competitors, Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis. At the race for second is a tight one, something our crew saw firsthand. Ron DeSantis, 18. Nikki Haley, 19. The 74 voters in West Des Moines braving the frigid cold to have their voices heard and listening to candidate supporters make their case. There's only one presidential candidate on this ballot who can promise every single one of us a future, and that's President Donald Trump. She doesn't talk about the past. She's headed to the future, and that's what's important to me. And those we spoke with wrestling with the choice. I was definitely looking for other options. I like Vivek uh, Ramswamy a lot. Um, I consider also Nikki Haley and DeSantis, but... Ultimately, I wanted a non-politician. Uh, I caucused for Haley. You caucused for Haley. Yeah, it was a, it was, it was a tough. It was between her and DeSantis, and I think either one of them would make a, uh, a great president. But recognizing the need to take part in what's meant to be a collaborative and constructive process. People being able to speak their piece and and talk about the positives. So Donald Trump has taken the stage. Now it's just a question of who is going to claim victory in the second place spot. Will it be Ron DeSantis? Will it be Nikki Haley? They have been sort of jockeying back and forth in those NBC News decision desk results that we have been watching closely. Whether or not we will know by evening's end, that is a whole other thing. But luckily, we're coming back on the morning show tomorrow, and hopefully we'll have a finalized answer for you at that point. Guys? All right, well, Matt, we've seen a lot on the Republican side of things, but the Democrats making a big change in how their caucuses work this primary. What's going on there? There's no doubt about it, and really it all ties back to 2020 when the Democrats had so much trouble when it came to that app. If you remember, they tried to use these different technological ways of calculating results and ended up in an absolute embarrassing disaster, which made it so that results didn't come out for days afterwards. Pete Buttigieg would eventually be named the winner of the 2020 Iowa caucuses, but it took a long time, so the Democrats have changed how they're doing things this year. They have mail-in voting, essentially, happening over the course of the next few weeks or so. So we won't actually hear results for the Democrat side of the coin for weeks, if not a few months, uh, ultimately until about Super Tuesday or so. And so there's a lot to watch for in the Democrat side of the coin. And obviously, there's a lot of people who have been questioning whether or not Iowa should be going in the first spot uh, the way they have prior to New Hampshire. So we will have to wait and see how everything unfolds in the next four years. But as for now, we're focused on the Republican results. Keep you updated to see who takes the silver place finish. All right, going to be the rest of the busy night into the morning. We appreciate all your work and glad you're staying warm inside. Thank you. Well, you can scan that QR code you see up on your screen to get all of our Decision 2024 coverage right on your smartphone. We'll keep track of this race to the White House from now until November of 2024.